What is up guys, and we're here with a new series to the channel called Monster Sanctuary. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have heard about this game, but for those that haven't, this is basically like a 2D platformer mixed with like Pokemon. So it's a 2D platform, gotta catch them all type of thing, where you're gonna start off with uh, these, we'll call them familiars, I think that's what they're called. Uh, and then you're gonna travel the world uh, here in my Monster Sanctuary, trying to capture, fight, breed etc to raise our ranks and so this is a game that i actually wasn't too interested in but i played it on uh xbox game pass for like five minutes and i was like nah let me not just do this as a personal playthrough let me do this for the channel so let's get to it empty and then i think these are like genders pretty much i want to i want to go with the blue actually I know the blue is going to be the chick, but it's all good. Like one of the few times you guys will see me play as like a female character or choose female when there's like the male option. If I see blue, I'm always going to choose blue, just like you saw for Sea of Stars. The Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While, while monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Also, I don't know anything past like, probably like the first battle I did. <laughs> Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Look at that mushroom over there. They call themselves Monster Keepers. We the Monster Keepers, and anything we don't catch, we're known as the Monster Reapers. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. So they give us uh, Spectral Wolf, which has Water, Wind, and this one seems like pretty balanced, I think. Uh, we got Spectral Eagle, which seems like it has more damage to deal, and that's Fire Wind. Then we got Spectral Toad, Earth Water, more so defensive, and then Spectral Lion, which I think is also pretty balanced. It's stats, I think it has better defense, yeah. Better defense than Spectral Wolf, but has less mana. But like I said, I'm always gonna choose blue. Aside from in Pokemon, I always go with like the grass type because nobody really chooses the grass starter. I'm going with Spectral Wolf just because uh, it looks badass. <laughs> Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a Spectral Familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Blades is just starting out to become a monster keeper like her ancestors before her. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep the her pronoun here, but don't worry, that's not my actual pronouns. So as with all uh, keepers, we all start on this spectral trail. So your friend and helper, name your familiar. And, uh, first upper. Wait, I gotta delete. We're gonna go with Nova, just because, uh, that's my dog's name. That's my dog, that's my dog, that's my dog. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Ah, damn. He's just like, I don't think I like you for a second. I kind of don't fuck with you like that. <laughs> Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That's why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch from an egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like the slimes um, in Dragon Quest. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you live up to your ancestors. That claw missed. So we're gonna start combat, and then I think I already have it on like times two speed for combat. So it'll go by like a little bit quicker for you guys. But as you guys can see, I love my turn based games. <laughs> but this is like a good throwback as well. 
see, and then we get these battle rankings too. So rare loot chance, 40%, gold bonus, 120%. And we got copper, small potion, blah, bag. 8 EXP. There we go, you received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> New best friend, no. Oh, so they got hill trees and stuff, so looks like we got the wind, water, and claw. Spectral flame. How do we get this one on? Oh well, I'll figure that out in the future. They're, I'm pretty sure they gotta go over it and whatnot. This is your first monster you hatch by yourself. Right now it's weak, so you will need to train it. There's much more for you to learn too. You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the keeper's trail. It will lead us to Old Buran. Old Buran? <laughs> An old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. So I'm wondering if like they want us to like level up this slime like by fighting. Oh, did it just run from me? <laughs> oh wait, we we fight with all our monsters. I did not know this. I like this guys. <laughs> the fact that I can have them all out right there. Or I guess maybe it's just gonna be like three. And slime can heal, so actually I don't even need him like out there starting. Let's go. Vital ring. Health plus 160. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earn a higher rating increases your chance of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Ah, so that's like the best way to, or I guess, best reason to end fights quickly. Yeah, we're going to give you that vital ring. And then we're, we're, we're just going to leave with you for now. Seems like it doesn't matter. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail beginning for all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Alrighty. So maybe there's like no point in using like that claw like that. Weak to fire, weak to water. Okay. I'll use that water skill, ice hail. Ooh, that was nice. I like how those air sickles look. <laughs> uh, we got a potato. <laughs> hey, a level up in a skill point. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. Just take a look at the skill tree menu, which I already took a look at, and I was like, what the heck? So now we can like upgrade these. So we could have it do extra damage, improve attack rating by one, regenerate five mana for each heal received. I don't even know which... I think I want to unlock <laughs> this. Note that you can unlearn recently learned skills freely as long as you didn't complete a monster encounter or exit the game. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's going to be good to have like that neutral... Neutral magic in case we come across something. It looks like we're also exploring like the map more. Oh, a chest. Oh, wait, can we battle others? Hey friend, you were just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting that you get to equip stuff. We got a kunai? Uh, is that better than what the heck I just... 
Okay, mana regen's a little bit better. So we're just gonna put that uh, on my little blob over here. Oh, was there someone down below? Hey, Philip Keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go on and try to hit it with some of your monsters' abilities. Okay, yeah, so... I was thinking, like, I had to... I was thinking I had to freaking use that to, like, get, like, a, I guess... Advantage on enemy monsters? But, okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, I want an egg for this one. That's weak to that. You resist win to damn. Are you just gonna heal yourself like that? Can we do an attack up? Oh, that did a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> Wait, we did really good. We got a four? Ah, we got an egg for it too. We about to hatch you. Blitz. Let's go squad. Squad? Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Bro. Be some badass conquerors, huh? We got a bracelet. I gotta give him something because you're new. I guess that's good. <laughs> now we got some more of these things to fight. That's gonna be like some good EXP to like grind out. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasure within he longed for the greed of kings was great. How do I get up there? I guess like maybe there's gonna be like some uh some more monsters I end up having to get or something. Okay, so we're not even gonna worry about that. trying to take out this bird though. you mega
And then I think I want to up like the water stuff. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply chill. Y'all are just going to see me be like super amazed by this game. <laughs> As I progress for I'm like, we can do this? We can do that? An orb and a morning star. I know this is sending me back to like the sanctuary or something, but... There's like different items over here. Man plunged to deepest abyss, forged, attacked, and slew. These endeavors were without soul is the cost on humanity nobody knew. Revives target, heal target for four times 200. Okay. Hello, young monster keeper. Your first time in the keeper's trail, is it? This is a teleporter stone. You can use it to travel quickly to other teleporters you find. Me? I'm just a treasure hunter. I make a business selling the things I find here and there. Want to buy something? Uh, let's see. We got defense and mana regen. Old Burren? You can't... You can find him heading further west. Oh, okay, so I am going, like, the right direction, I guess. And then can we... Interact with that? Yeah! Red gem. And we just got like, our money back. <laughs> hey fellow keeper, did you know that you can change which of your monsters following you around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know that. <laughs> you can change any of these, so... Oh! That's how... That's gonna be how I get that other chest. So water orbs, breaks hidden walls, burns vines, and kindles which activates fire orbs. We'll eventually get back to those, right? I guess maybe I'll need to use it now. Now we got a rocky egg. We're just gonna keep hatching everything that we can. We'll just leave your name as is. Because, uh, I mean, you didn't look like a rock to me. So you got healing stuff, building stuff, leaf slash. Whoa, this one. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 50% of defense value. So I guess you have to get like all the all the skills in like a tree in order to like upgrade further in that tree. Bandana. What is that? Uh, yeah, man, I shit. I think we're good. <laughs> Weak to that. Okay. Zerker egg. That actually like looked pretty dope. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Apollo. Where we started. Oh, but then came the four, free from greed or any other sin who listened to the voice within, struck a wound to the realm's core. Gotta see if there's chests here. Dang, I keep forgetting I'm clicking too fast. It's definitely easy to get like lost in here. 
wizard hat. Okay. Oh, I guess this is like when I should be like switching. That activates that one, and then I use bubbles on the other one. Okay, that one wasn't really worth it. Potions. Wait, I think one of these said like they can activate switches? Oh, I can't reach. Womp. We'll have to come back for that because that's too high for me to get to. The more I keep going west, like, the better this gets. So what happens when we hatch an egg and our inventory is full? Oh, it just pops up as like the bottom of like a reserve. Oh, and then you can start like saving different team loadouts. What? From this wound, rivers flowed and mountains grew mighty and cold. It's the only place for any creature that lives in peace with its nature. Did we make it? Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Ah, yeah, we made it, guys. Hey, Varen. Long time no see. I brought you a new student. She just hatched her first monsters. I thought she might teach her some lessons. So you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folks call me Old Burren. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail so I can teach all of you Greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged monster keepers. But first... Let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. We're having our first trainer battle. <laughs> Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say that the outcome of the battle is decided before it begins. These are level fives? I'm... Oof. Okay, but I mean, they're all weak to, to win, so I got stuff out there that does win, right? <laughs> Since I raced the boss myself, they are stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses and resistances of your enemy. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. Yeah, we know. Look at the top right corner of the screen. That is the combo counter. I was wondering what this thing was like for. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or healed or buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after every turn. So it makes sense to always try to act with your weaker defensive or assisting monsters first and use high count actions. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that act later. Okay. Oh wait, I, I have to attack like in this order? Damn. 
I wanted to do another buff. Y'all ain't had to hit, hit my bird like that, though. Did I already activate? Yeah, I already activated that, I think. They're really going for this bird, though. Leave Blitz alone. How long do these buffs last for? Because I've, I've had regen this entire damn time. Ah, uh, three stars. Come on, I whooped that ass, though. Hey, we got our first level five, though. Not bad, not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's Trail and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a proper monster keeper, you'll need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, the next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. Uh, not sure what the challenge is, but guys, I'm going to end the episode off right here. hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps the video a lot. And also let me know if you enjoyed this series because uh, I plan to continue it. I have a couple other things planned, but I wanted to check this game out and so far I'm loving it. The 2D graphics, uh, 2D platform mixed with like monster hunting, monster capturing, monster training stuff that's my shit as you know turn-based stuff is what gets me going on my channel but with that said guys stay sharp later